my channel. If you are new here, my name is Bronwyn. I am currently at, can you see her? There it is, the Riviera Resort here in Walt Disney World. Also where I am is a little windy, so I apologize. I also think I'm really close to Caribbean Beach and I think they're doing like some construction there or something, because I keep hearing banging, so you know, it is what it is. You might hear some noises, you might not. Also, um, so I came here, I'm getting sidetracked. I came here to get some work done um, for my other job and it was a very nice little time. I didn't wanna work from home. I don't always work from home, I do have an office, um, but I've been working from home most of this week because I have family in town and I was just like, you know, I kinda wanna get out of the house but I don't wanna go to the office. So I came to the Riviera instead. The vibes are immaculate. I told you it's windy. Um, I actually just got lunch. I just got a little kid's meal. It was delicious. Thank you for asking. And we are just gonna have ourselves a nice little Q&A. Like I said, my family's been in town um, and because of that, I didn't vlog. Um, I feel like nowadays that I like don't get to see my family that much. A lot of the time when they're here, I don't want to vlog because I just want to be like, ooh, my camera's falling. I just want to be like super present with them. Um, so I end up not vlogging. So there's no new video this week and I apologize for that. This is probably getting posted late, but it is what it is. We're gonna do a nice little Q&A. Let's catch up, let's chat. It's just like you're here on the beach with me. Let's see what questions y'all had. I put it over on Instagram. My camera kept slipping, so I moved it. But the first question is, if you could go to the parks with one person dead or alive, who would it be? And in my head, I was like, oh, I wanna go with like, you know, an actor, actress that I love a lot. But honestly, I wanna go with Walt Disney. I feel like it would be so cool to like go to the parks with the person who like created this entire world. Um, I don't know, I just feel like there's so much that like nobody knows about the parks other than him. Maybe he told people, maybe he didn't. Just like little hidden things and just like the intention behind everything. I just feel like going with Walt himself would be like such a cool experience. I got asked a lot about just like first time DCP tips or DCP in general tips and I think the biggest thing is to take every day with a grain of salt. Yes, Disney is super magical, it's so fun, but at the end of the day this is a job and I feel like people sometimes forget that, that you're not taking a semester off school to play in Disney World, you're taking a semester off school to learn more about the Walt Disney Company and be a cast member for them. Um, now, does anybody want to work 75 hours a week? Probably not. Like, stuff like that, like, it gets hard. And I'm not saying you're going to work 75 hours a week. Like, that's just a random number. But I think because, especially with social media, you see people just like, oh, it just looks like they're in the parks all day, every day. And that's not the case. So I feel like having some sort of, like, realistic expectation of that this is a job. And it's not always going to be magical, but it, the whole program, I feel like, is what you make of it. It can be the best experience of your life. It could also be the worst experience of your life. And I feel like it's kind of a like, you gotta choose your own adventure and take everything with a grain of salt. And that's how you're gonna have a great program. People ask me a lot if I like think that working at Disney has ruined the magic. And I actually was having a conversation with somebody about this the other day that I don't think that working there has ruined the magic. If anything, I feel like it's amplified the magic because you get to see like firsthand and be the one to create that magic. Like really what it takes to make Disney so magical. However, I feel like the one thing that I've lost is the like, I don't even know the word I wanna use, but that like, you know, when you're on the monorail for the first day of your trip and you have butterflies and you're so excited, like I feel like I don't really get that anymore when I go to the parks. I still have so much fun, I still love it, but I feel like that almost like nervous excitement, I don't really get anymore, which is fine. And I still have a good time, so like it is what it is, but I think I have noticed that more. Like we were on the monorail the other day with um, these little kids, I don't know if it was their first trip or they were just really excited, but they were just like over the moon, could not believe like, oh my gosh, we're at Disney World. And I remember when I was a kid, I always felt like that because we came, we came often when I was a kid, but not like every year, normally around like every other year or so. Um, and I remember always having that feeling of being so excited to be back. And I feel like now that I live here, it's just like, oh, it's another day in Magic Kingdom. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be magical, but that excitement, I feel like is kind of gone. How do you feel about this stage of your life? Better slash worse than you expected? It's so funny you ask because I literally was on the phone with my best friend from college. Like while I was working, we we're on the phone for like an hour and had this like same exact conversation that like, I love my life. I am very proud of the life that I have, but it's 
I feel like when you're a kid, you know, you think somebody that's like 21, 22 is an adult. And like, now that I turn 26 very soon, I'm like, I just like am not at the point in my life that I thought I would be when I was a kid. And that's fine, I don't care, I'm not upset. But it's just like, I don't know, I feel like when you're younger, you think of adults being like so old but they're really not that old. And I feel like you have to get to that age. I remember when I was like, go to camp and stuff and all my counselors were like 21. And I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, I wanna be like married with a kid by the time I'm like 23, cause I wanna be like a young mom. And now like, even as a 26 year old, the thought of like having a child, I'm like, no, I'm not ready for that by any means. That it's just, I don't know. I feel like I can't, I'm a very much like, I feel like I'm a very present person like people ask me all the time like what are your goals what are your like achievements things you want to achieve whatever and I honestly like I try not to think about that kind of stuff because I'm like I want to experience where I am now and not set all of these goals for myself I don't even know if you can hear me because it just got really windy but not set you know too big of goals that like if I don't reach them then I'm just disappointed in myself like I feel like I set like pretty low expectations for things and then when they're surpassed it's like ah oh my gosh, I'm incredible. And then if I meet them or don't meet them, I'm like, you know what, that's okay. And I'm gonna keep trying and I'm gonna keep working hard. Also a bug just flew right on this chair. Ugh. I kind of want to, oh my God, that's gross. Um, but yeah, I don't know if that really answered the question. No, I am not. It's not worse than I expected. It's definitely different. And I think that like COVID definitely also like made things different. Like I think about like, okay, if COVID had never happened, like, what would I be doing? Where would I be living? Would I still be here? Would I still be with Disney? Like, I don't know, but I'm happy with where I am right now. I love my life, love my job, I love my friends, I love my family, and that's, I feel like, what I try and focus on. Hmm, <laughs> someone said, do you have any advice for struggling to make friends? And I laugh with that because I feel like people think that I am, like, have always been, like, super popular. Like, I got that a lot, like, throughout my time like on the internet and such and I that just like could not be more inaccurate like when I was growing up I never had friends I never really had birthday parties like I think I had a birthday party once and like I hardly had enough people to invite to it like I never was somebody that had friends it wasn't really until I guess in high school I had two like best best friends and those were the only people that I talked to and everybody else was mean to me and then when I was in college for the first like two years, I didn't really have any friends until like probably like my third year at App. Um, App is the name of App State is where I went to college. Um, was when I really like found my people or whatever. And I think like moving to Disney and just like growing more like confident in myself and not trying to fit the mold of like, well, this is what the cool kids are doing. Should I be more like them? Like, I feel like I just kind of was like, you know what? This is me, take it or leave it. And I feel like because of that, I've always had a very small circle of friends. And through the years, that circle keeps growing smaller and smaller. But like, I don't care. I don't care about how many friends I have. Like, I could have no friends. And as long as I'm happy, like, that's all that matters to me, you know? So did that answer your question? Not really. But I feel like be yourself because if you create this like false personality, I think, the friendships aren't gonna be sustainable. <gasps> what future run Disney events will you be doing? Oh my gosh. So I'm running the 10K for the springtime surprise, um, race for the taste 10K. I'm very excited for it. My sister's coming down for it. So we're gonna do it together. And Kate obviously is doing it with us. I also just got sand on my face. Um, the next one after that isn't until November. And I wasn't gonna do any of them because I don't love like the theming for all of them. But I was like, if I don't do that, then like I'm not gonna do another one for like almost a year. So I think I might do the 5K for Wine and Dine and it's Coco themed and I love Coco. So like, I feel like it'll be fun. And then I might do Princess again and do all of them. I wanna at least do the challenge. We'll see if I end up doing the 5K also. It probably depends like who's on the medal, honestly. Cause that was why we did the Cinderella one because we knew she was gonna be on the medal. And I was like, okay, I literally have to have a Cinderella medal. And then I do really wanna do one of the races during marathon weekend. I'm not gonna do Dopey. I'm not even gonna attempt it. I don't wanna do anything probably longer than a 10K. So 
we'll see. But that's kind of the plan right now. But first up, springtime surprise. I'm very excited. We've been planning our outfits because we're a little bit behind on that, but it's gonna be cute. Best memory at the parks when your mom and sister just visited. So like I said, my well, I don't know if I said, my mom and my one of my sisters were just in town um, this past week and it was so much fun. And probably the best part, one, I liked doing flower and garden with them because it's really fun to do the festival with like more than one or two people, like more than just me and Kate, because then we can try more things because you're really only eating like a bite of something. Um, but my mom and I did the Keys to the Kingdom tour at Magic Kingdom, which was so cool. Like I, our guide for it was incredible. And I don't know, it was just like, I feel like I, a lot of the information I did already know, but it was still cool and like cool to learn like things that I like really had no idea about or really had never thought of. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for something to like change up your Disney trip, cause you know, you've been to Magic Kingdom or wherever a billion times, I highly would recommend the Keys to the Kingdom tour. I think it was like 114 per person and that does not include your park admission. Um, so it's a little pricey, but it is a five hour tour and they provide lunch with it. So I thought it was worth it and I thought it was really cool. My mom loved it. Um, so yeah, that was probably, Probably the best part. I actually got a lot of questions about what I studied in college. Um, so I went to Appalachian State University in Boone, North Carolina, and I was a double major in dance studies and commercial photography. So I actually have two degrees. Um, and it's wild that these days I use my commercial photography degree way more than my dance one. I still take dance classes like when I can. Um, so like I'm still involved with dance but my job is very much like intertwined with my commercial photography degree which is just crazy because i was really burned out with photography by the time i graduated college that i was like Ugh, i want nothing to do with this well look at us now <laughs> what's something coming up in your life that you're excited about i feel like it's a very exciting time for me and my family um both of my sisters and my dad are all engaged so we've got lots and lots of weddings coming up in the next few months slash in the year in addition to all of that my oldest sister is turning 30 this year my mom is turning 60 this year it's a big it's a big time for me and my family so those are probably the things i'm most excited for this year we got some other things here and there but i'm excited for all of the weddings and the fact that i get to see my family a lot how has your non once upon a brawn job changed your schedule and ability to do what you want with once upon a brawn um, so I started a new job in November, like right after Thanksgiving. And I was not looking for a job by any means. I was like full-time doing social media and my shop and all of that, um, like full-time once upon a brawn. And then I just applied for this job on a whim, thinking I was like not qualified for it at all, but just like, what's the harm in applying? You know, I just feel like it's always good to like keep yourself out there and like interview and that kind of stuff just because I don't know it's just like builds character or something right so I applied and on my application it said like you'll hear within the next seven days or so if, like they wanted to interview with you or if they were like no nah, we're good whatever so it's like okay so probably like a month and a half go by and I still hadn't heard anything so honestly it was like kind of not even in my mind anymore I was just like oh I didn't get it and it is what it is I don't really need the job so I don't need the job at all and that's fine I just wanted to like see kind of you know and then like the beginning of November I got an email that was like hey if you're still interested in this job like we'd love to chat with you and like all this and I was like oh okay so um, I met with the head of the company and they really wanted me to join the team um, and they were kind of like not desperate for somebody but the person whose job I took had just gotten a new job with Disney so they like needed somebody soon so they were like you know we want you to have time to like think this over but also like we want you and want you to start like today and I was like well that's a little tricky because I got some travel coming up but I can't after Thanksgiving and they're like okay that's fine that works for us so I took it and I you know was pretty upfront with them about like I don't want to stop doing what I'm doing like I like what I do now I liked doing like my shop and just YouTube and all social media like full-time that I was like I'm not gonna give that up for this job I'm gonna give this job my all but I need y'all to like be flexible with me that like I can't work nine to five Monday through Friday like that's just I can't do that schedule and they're like no 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 that's totally fine that's totally fine um 
So yeah, I've been in the job for about five months now and I do really like it. However, the balance between that job and the rest of my life has been like a big struggle for me. Um, Cause basically I either go into the office every day or work from home um, normally until like three, four o'clock. And then I come home and I pack orders or I make new stuff or I'm like organizing like folding shirts that, you know, I just got a shipment of a lot of shirts and I have to fold and, you know, put all those away and that kind of stuff. Um, and I have to have time to like go out and film a video and then edit the video that it's, I've, I've found a really, it really hard to balance all of it. Like, I feel like I really haven't had a day off in months because between just working events for that job or like meetings that I have to be at. Um, and also like, you know, cause I love going to the parks and I think it's so fun, but when I go to film a video, like it is at the end of the day, I'm working, which is fun and it's fine. But yeah, my schedule has just been like nonstop. Um, like today that I'm filming, this is Friday. Tomorrow I have an event. Sunday, me and Caitlin are going to the parks to film a video. And then Monday through Friday, I work again. And then Friday night, um, my dad's gonna be at the beach near Florida, or in Florida. Um, so we're going and spending a night with him. And then Sunday's my birthday, so we have big plans for that day. And then I'll go into work on Monday and work that whole week. And then I have another event that weekend that it's like, I just feel like I'm go, go, go nonstop. And I'm a very like, I'm a very independent person and I like my me time and I feel like I have not had that in a while. So is an emotional breakdown coming? Probably, we will see. Um, so yeah, it's been hard to say the least. <laughs> a lot of questions about my hair because I feel like every other week I ask on Instagram like, y'all what the heck do I do to my hair? It's so ugly, I don't know what to do to it. So basically all this blonde that you see, I dyed my hair in July of 2020 and this color was at my roots. Um, and this is how much it's grown out. Uh, I did box dye it probably about a year year and a half ago and because it's bleached like the color didn't really take so after about like two washes it was basically back to how it was um and i really just hate it it's a lot of different colors and i think that it's ugly the length it's getting long mainly just because like i don't know what else to do with it like i don't know if i want to keep growing out or if i want to cut it back short but i feel like right now which i still haven't decided like i don't have an appointment booked or anything but i want to cut it like Probably like here-ish, like above or like right at the top of my shoulders. I really want curtain bangs, but I feel like that's a bad idea. Let me know. And I want to dye it darker, but still have like some dimension in it. Not necessarily blonde, but just like dark brown and lighter brown. Not like super dark, but a little darker than like it is right now. But honestly, like getting your hair done anywhere, but especially in Orlando, is just so expensive. And I have a lot of other things right now with like all these weddings and stuff that I need to pay for that I'm like, do I need to drop $400 to get my hair done right now? Not really, so I just keep putting it off, but I wanna get it done before my sister's wedding in June, because I don't want my hair to look ugly for those pictures and like for the night and everything. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts. Because I don't, I don't know. I want curtain bangs, but I don't think I'm gonna do it because I think I'm gonna regret it because I have pretty like ugly frizzy hair and I just, I feel like in my head, my curtain bangs are gonna look like celebrities that like always have perfect hair. And that's just not what mine are gonna look like. I think they're gonna, well, they will be frizzy and ugly like the rest of my hair. So like, I don't know. But if you think they look really cute on me, like let me know. I did a filter one time on like TikTok. I didn't post it, but just like there's a filter going around with bangs and it looked atrocious. So maybe that's a sign not to do it. Let me know your thoughts. All right, I think those are all of the questions that I'm gonna answer. Thank you so much to everybody who sent them to me. I typically always ask on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go hop on over. It's a lot of fun. It's a party every day. It's not, but you know, it is fun. All right, I think I'm gonna head back home. Caitlin did request I bring her back a little prize um, from my day out and about because she's working from home. Um, so maybe I'll pop in the gift shop or something, see if there's anything I can find. And then I had parked at Hollywood Studios um, cause I don't have a reservation here or anything. So got to hop on the Skyliner, go back to studios and then I'm going to head home. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I will be back next week with a 
not more fun, because this was fun. I had a great time, I hope you did too, but a little more normal Once Upon a Brawn video. We have a fun video plans that we're filming this weekend, which I'm very excited about. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all again real soon, bye. Also, before I go, if you have any other questions, drop them down below and I will do my best to answer as many of them as I can or shoot me a DM on Instagram, anything, if you have any questions. A lot of people ask like very specific questions. Um, so I try to answer ones that were a little bit more like, more than just like one person had asked. So if you have a very important, hard hitting question that you really need an answer to, just shoot me a message and I will do my best to respond and give you an answer. If I know an answer, I may not know anything, but I'll do my best. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye, I'm leaving. <laughs>